Sure. And do you um, like, do you look back? Cause I, I think you're excited about web three. Yes. And you look back at web two. I know uh, you can quickly tell the story of missing Uber. You Ugh. know, your buddies with the guy, you miss Uber. That's a big one. <laughs> big one. What, what was a, you, you tell that story, but also just in general, What'd you learn from the Web 2 wave that you're like, okay, Web 3, I'm better prepared because I've been I, in the I, long I, game. I love you for that question because the only thing I've been thinking about for the last nine months is like, damn, this is the first time I felt like this since 06. Right. The thing I learned there was I was going to meet a lot of people that were technically stronger than me, teach me new things, have incredibly fun, young, fucking on-fire thinkers, different shit. The world is rescheduling, recalibrating. And that I knew that I understood the consumer and the human so well that I would figure out my path within it. I think like, you know, the thing I learned with, I've, I've told the Uber story at nausea. Travis is the only person I thank in Crush It, my first book, besides my family. We were incredibly <laughs> close. Um, what I learned there was defense always loses. I bought my first like apartment in Manhattan. I played so conservative up until like 35. Like I had no money, first of all, because I was building a family business. I just didn't have a lot of liquid. I had enough to make the Uber investment. I passed twice. And there was two things I learned from it. One, the full story is that when I was asked to invest in Uber, Garrett and Travis were just the inventors of it. And Ryan Graves was the CEO right. and was going to run it. And I had just failed in putting up a wine social network called Corked. And it was because it was a distraction to my core and so I was affected by thinking that if this is their side hustle, it's not really them. Where totally I mean, the, reasonable, by the way. Totally reasonable the line of thought, and you'll be right nine out of ten times. The second one hurts because Travis came back to me on this. There's this grassy knoll. I have no idea where it is in San Francisco, like a little park. I drove by it like seven years ago and got like the worst feelings. I'm like, I have to go back here every <laughs> year, once a year for humbleness. <laughs> well, I'll tell you, I, I want to, uh, yeah, I know we're going to be wrapping up. So let me give you the real, this is something I really hope helps a lot of people. I have completely gone the other way. Let me tell you what I mean by that. I am now completely infatuated with investing only based on the person. I have to hate that would be the word I use, and I don't like that word. I would have to hate the person's idea to not go if I think that the jockey is a gangster. And it's worked out for me. There's a company called Micmac where I just saw Rachel, had one meeting with her, and I said, she's one of us, right? That's right. it. She's one of us. And she's pivoted four times. But the company is a monster now and is well on its way. And between the Uber thing and the Rachel thing, like it's kind of how I'm navigating Web3 right now. I'm really trying to pay attention to is this person one of us? Because right. I think there's something about a human's ability to will their way to the success, even if they have to completely change the business model halfway through. I love it. Well, we, uh, you were supposed to bounce uh, three minutes ago. We don't want to go over your time. I, it sounds like it looks like you're in the Hamptons and it sounds like someone's preparing dinner right now. Is that right? <laughs> Listen, is that right? You've got, you've yeah, got, you've yeah, got good intuition. Are you in the, yeah, in the kitchen? You're in the kitchen. You have someone who is vacuuming and cooking dinner we're, right we're, now. We're, we're setting up infrastructure for the weekend. But listen, I, I, uh, let me say this. It's super fun for me to see this show pop from afar. Like there are not, you know, it's a very funny time in society where like, work ethic and the grind. Like I, I'm incredibly excited that we have a balanced conversation, but the energy of entrepreneurship is just such an important variable. And so I, I appreciate what you guys are doing in this space. And I'm not going to, I'll have to ask him if, if it's, if he's cool, if I blow up his spot a little bit, but me and Gary had dinner with like eight or 10 other people like two months ago. And I went back to this guy's house uh, about a month ago again for another dinner. We're going to have to tell the story about this guy's house. It was, it was like the craziest house I've ever been to. And uh, <laughs> we're going to have to tell, we're we'll gonna have to tell that story one I'd day. Listen, I'd love to come back.